Shelter for the Homeless, uh, Mr. James Settles and uh, Mr. Carter Abels, uh, both members of an organization called Ephesus House. And of course, uh, Mr. Settles and uh, Mr. Abels, let me welcome the two of you to the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to have the two of you with us this morning, and especially to talk about an issue that is very, very prevalent and very, very popular this morning because we find that there are many situations where people are without housing. And I think that uh, your organization is involved in dealing with uh, housing uh, for the various, uh, various groups. So let's start off, Ms. Settles, by having you uh, give us some information in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences. And of course, Mr. Uh, Abels will do the same thing. And then after this first segment, of six minutes, then we'll get back, uh, we'll have our first commercial break, and then we'll come back uh, for our second segment, and then we'll talk about other things, and by that time, we should have a fairly good idea in terms of some of the challenges that are faced by individuals who are seeking housing. So let's start off with you, uh, Mr. Settles, by giving you, giving us some information in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences. Well, I'm James Settles, and thank you for the opportunity uh, to be here. Uh, uh, part of my background is I'm, I remember uh, going to prison myself back in 86 and, and also getting out of prison in uh, uh, 93 actually and it was from there uh, I remember starting a home uh, called Ephesus House in 03 and part of that was because I went to prison and battled with a drug addiction and all of that and as I came into a personal relationship with God, he began to show me how to do this thing the correct way. And I'm under the old school. To whom much is given, I believe much is required. So that's how Ephesus House was actually formed, to reach back and help others uh, the way people helped me. Very good. Mr. Uh, Carter Abel, what about your situation? Sure. So my name's Carter Abel. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up in northeast Arkansas in a pretty rural community. Um, moved to Nashville in 2009. And moving to Nashville was really the first experience I'd, I'd ever time, first time I'd ever encountered anything regard, resembling homelessness. And it was, it was mind blowing to me. And uh, so I got connected in the nonprofit community here, got connected to James and Aphsis House through a former professor, and just love being able to contribute to the housing conversation and giving guys a chance to, to turn their lives around get a new start. Mr. Sells, in, in, in terms of talking about shelter uh, for, the, uh, for the homeless and various other groups, uh, what are some of the groups that you would identify as your target area in terms of individuals who come to you and where do they come to and how do you meet them when they get there? And so we've got about two minutes before this segment ends. Let's give us that kind of information. Well, we actually put an emphasis on men that are coming out of incarceration and men that are homeless that battle with substance abuse issues, and which both of those issues I battle with at one time. And that's what I mean when I say he delivered me. I remember going into treatment several times, but it was really coming into a personal relationship with Jesus that things got better. And so in a real sense, you're using your own personal experiences to reach out to others. How, how long have you uh, been working in this area? I mean, this organization, how is this a relatively uh, new organization or what? Ephesus House was started in 03. And we now have four facilities where one of them we use for actually um, uh, staff and the other three places we house men, we can house up to 28 at any one time. And so you've got a very, very viable organization and you're able to reach out to a large number of in, uh, especially incarcerated individuals coming out of the uh, system who might need uh, some kind of housing, et cetera. And so what we'll do, we'll take our first commercial break. And